Welcome guys to Let's Build a Castle Part 7. We have created some incredible builds on top of this hill, accumulating to quite an incredible castle. However, today we're working at the bottom of this hill, connected to this huge river, we will create this dock. As you see, we created two incredible boats and a nice warm dock that kind of mimics that medieval castle look with a traditional dock style. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy this episode and we might as well begin. As we open here, as you can see, this landscape is not perfect and this is a bit I normally skip out, but I just thought I'd show you a bit snippets of me doing the world edit stuff. This is only very quick, it does take a lot of refinement, a lot of uh, practice, because th th those two tools are very minimal there and I'm still not pleased with how the landscape looks, so I'm going to actually re-edit that off camera. But those are the kind of basic tools I use to start beginning and shaping a landscape. So, what's next is, sorry I've got a bit of a cold, anyway, what is next is creating that dock. I'm going to do this in stages. So, creating that main bit of dock. So, as you can see, just using those same materials we've used previously, except this build, I'm actually going to merge it with a lot of wood, because I feel wood just replicates the ships a little bit better, and allows us to create that overall dock feel. So, as you can see, we're using this dark wooden slab just as our base, as our walkways, and I feel it looks very good connected to the stone. So as you saw there, we just uh, we raised it up by one because I wanted a bit more of clearance between the ground and the water. So now we're just building up quite a decorative wall shape just because obviously the castle is incredibly detailed so far and obviously we can't just have like a, just a plain wall. I wanted the, the dock to be equally detailed despite it not being quite as important to the rest of the castle. I still wanted it to be equally epic. So as you can see using the same materials, the same stars, I'm just building up quite an efficient, quite a practical dock because this is quite a a usable bit of the castle. This is what I imagine is most of the produce will come in and out of the castle through. So not only does it have to be pretty and look good, it also has to be functional. So as what I'm kind of confronting here is almost the pretty side and then later on I approach it with its functionality because currently the way I've designed it, it would be possible to move shipping from a boat and onto this dock due to the way I've created these walls. But what also you'll notice is there is a hill in the way between our like our jetty, I don't know what you'd call it, our pier. That's a better word, it's not really a pier, but you know what it you know it's the kind of sort of the aesthetics of a pier. So our pier and the main island. So we have to create a small tunnel. So I start knocking out this uh, this hillside out of the way, and then what we're actually gonna do is create quite a nice decorative tunnel. So just as I say, knocking it away, and there we go. We kind of got a clean slate here. I obviously trolled the uh, the um, the pathway through and just cleaned up the walls a little bit on the inside. So now we're building up on those details on the outside. Like I said previously, replicating those exact same materials just to keep continuity and ensure when people are looking at this castle, you can see that it is actually all from the same castle. It doesn't look like it's just been mismatched and thrown together in a rush. It looks like it's been you know quite carefully thought out which it has before I go to all of these builds I have a premeditated idea of what I want them to look like to ensure that I don't end up building something and it looking rubbish and I have to destroy it and it being a complete waste of time so creating some depth into the walls just to create that extra bit of detail and just overall you know improving the whole the old the whole just you know idea of this castle because that's why we rebooted this series because the old castle the the build started off less detailed and became progressively more detailed towards the end so the castle became a bit of a mishmash so that's something I'm ultimately trying to avoid with this castle and make sure all the castle looked as detailed as the rest of it so as you can see now we're just a kind of um, extending our way creating that interlink between this huge staircase and the dock because this staircase is going to be quite an efficient piece of this castle in which it's going to connect so many different areas so it was important that I created a nice big door and nice easy access so that is our main dock area finished what we have to now work on is the nighttime lighting so as you see it's very dark and with these shades it becomes even darker so I toyed around with a lot of different lighting styles before I chose this one and I just feel it's simplistic and it works well because some of the other designs were a bit bit, bit bulky and I feel just with those six lanterns there it looks quite efficient. Now we are adding on to that functionality side you could say. So as you can see you could pull up a boat here, extend a plank across there through the gates and access across and now 
here are the boats. I haven't showed you building this boat, but I did because I built this boat in a previous Let's Build. So if you do want to see how this boat is built to this exact specification, it should appear on screen as some sort of link. I'll leave a link in the description and the name of the video on screen. So now I just put another one in, but I folded up the sails because I wanted the idea of that boat. That's the boat that's leaving. And this is just another one sat in the dock waiting. So now this is the idea. This is just like as if those are planks of wood just allowing people to get, get access from the dock and to the ship itself. So as you can see, I did mess that up a little bit, just accidentally destroyed a couple of things. So as you can see, it works quite nicely and this is the ship that's leaving out. Like I say, link in the description if you want to see how that was built. It was actually done on the Block Mayhem server. So, anyway, back to the last build. We've done quite a good area here and it all interlinks and connects really well. But, what else does the dock need is some sort of storage facility. So, that is what we're going to begin working on. So, because the idea with this dock is it's not a military port or anything like that. It is basically that this king's castle is going to need plenty of materials, plenty of things coming in and out. And the quickest mode of transport in the medieval era to get across the world would have been via boat. So, this is kind of his personal dock. So, which, so it's just supplying him with all his needs and all the castle's needs. Needs. So this is where obviously all that stuff is going to be stored before it gets pushed up that huge stairwell and into the castle. So as you could, what you could see me doing there was actually utilizing World Edit a bit more and showing you how I also I just grabbed that style from the tower itself and mimicked it into the walls on the inside just because I felt it worked so well. And why bro why 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 fix what's not broken? If it ain't broke don't fix it is the kind of motto I went for that just because like I feel that design works incredibly well on this interior so what will, there was no point in me coming up with a new design when in re reality I've got a perfectly good one available to me so just extended that kind of roof so it merges with the like the, the hillside itself because that's equally something very important is this castle has been built around the hillside and I want them to naturally integrate into one another so that was important there just making sure that you know the grass kind of linked in and connected up quite nicely and here just adding in extra details to make the walls look a little bit more interesting a little bit more you know medieval and overall adding that decorated style as on about earlier ensuring all the castle is equally decorated and uh, detailed sorry so as you see just making sure I've got it evenly on each side and obviously like I say it doesn't have to have all the detail on the right side because it merges into the hillside here so now I'm literally just adding in just like but one last pillar just to give that bit of structural integrity because like I've also said throughout this series I also want things to look obviously good and detailed and grand but also it's equally important that I feel they look like they would work as a castle themselves and they would successfully be able to stand siege and the actual castle just wouldn't crumble if Minecraft had physics so as you see I've worked very hard and just made sure this whole place looks really nice so now just adding in a, a little bit of variety of colour because we've used a lot of dark greys in there so just splashing a tiny bit of light here and using some fences upside down or under upside down underneath here to further add that decorative feel that detailed look now I added in some like some big shelves here so you can imagine everything being stored on these shoe shelves and all of these chests and I feel this little warehouse looks incredibly epic and now guys that has come to the end of this episode we've built a lot in this episode in a very short period of time I hope you don't mind that as I said earlier the boats link in the description to the video in which I built those it was a it was on the block mayhem server so I just felt I didn't for people who may have already seen that video I don't want to be repeating myself so as you see this dock looks incredibly good and equally good at night time if I don't if I do say so myself so guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. There is plenty more to come. As you can see, this castle is nowhere near finished. And there is much more for me to build off this template. So guys, thank you very, very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.